So I picked up these sweet gauges on Amazon by Autometer. My other three gauges are Autometer and I've had a lot of gauges in the past and you know that they're cheap uh, Chinese stuff or made in Taiwan. They don't really work very well because the needles from my experience from back in the day they tend to bounce around for this guy i'm gonna you know spend a little extra money and and, and went with autometer because these are the best in my opinion gauges you can buy i know they're kind of expensive but again you know you get what you pay for uh especially with gauges and i want something that's gonna give me the right readout as i'm driving down the road and by the way these are made in sycamore illinois here in the usa uh, and this, these are the only gauges I know that are made here in the USA. So in this um, package, I think this is like a three and a half inch with this little, with a gray bezel, which will match my other gauges. Uh, it comes with this mounting bracket. So if you guys are looking to buy uh, whatever gauges, make sure you buy the appropriate type gauge for your application. I bought this one because it came, it came with a mounting bracket here. That will be mounting on a steering column but if you're not doing that you can buy the same gauge for a little cheaper if you're inserting this right into the you know if you built like a custom dash you can reset this right in there uh, and they have a different kit for that so when you guys are buying this just keep a mindful of uh, what how you're going to install this thing all right so what i want to do is take you guys out to uh, my workbench and show you guys what all comes in here there's a couple things i want to do to this before I install this and I want to show you guys how I'm going to mount this thing here so you got a couple of mounting options you can screw this right into the dash if that's where you want to put it and that's what these holes are for which is fine but what's cool about this is that it has a little slit right here so that you can mount this right on, right on your steering column uh, with a hose clamp and I bought a nice hose clamp from Napa just so that it kind of looks you know, a little nicer than a cheap hose clamp. So let me show you what all comes in the box. Um, so besides the gauge itself, uh, you're gonna get a pretty simple set of instructions here. There's a couple of different ways to install this looks like. There's one for junior dragster wiring. I'm not sure what that really means. But what we're gonna really focus on here is just this basic wiring diagram up here. This is designed for from four cylinder to six to eight. Uh, from the factory, it comes set for eight cylinder. So I don't have to do any calibration, but if you did, you wanna pop this cap open, which we're gonna do here in a little bit. And I'll show you guys what that's all about and what's in there and things you can do to modify this just a little bit. And here's uh, instruction on, on how to do that. But the most important thing here is this wiring instructions. Here it comes with all the wires you need. Um, and then it has some screws if you guys are wanting to mount this right on, right on the dash. Uh, you guys can use this. So in the wiring there are basically two power wires if you will. One of the wires, the white one, is going to be for your your lights so at night time when you turn the lights on you can have you can connect this white wire right to that um, headlight switch which we may or may not do I'm not sure yet and then this other one here to this to the uh, ignition switch is the red wire and what they want us to do here is actually add an inline fuse so I'll have to figure out what amp they want me to uh, use and then we'll do that we, we might actually add the fuse Combine these two wires together. Uh, so just just a one one you know setup, real easy. Okay, and then there's a black wire, which is uh, your ground wire. We'll connect that to the chassis somewhere, and then your last one is your green wire, and that will go to the negative side of your coil. And I really wanted to use this heavy duty one because oh man, look how cool that would look. You know, this is obviously an overkill, but man, if he, if I was able to use this, um, this will look pretty sweet right this is way too wide for here so I'm gonna just use a standard this is a I want to say two and a half inch hose clamp I got a Napa oh here it is here's the size um, one and three sixteenths to two and three quarters this integrated rubber gasket if you will goes around on the inside of this mounting bracket and it's pretty cool because it's they're pre molded to fit in this um, housing perfectly and basically, this is going to go in here like this. My gauge is going to be mounted somewhat sideways uh, on my steering column. Okay, what I really want to show you guys is uh, what's behind this cover here. And this is where you can do all your adjustments. So, you, you have three nuts right here and then a bolt. 
Uh, basically, you're just going to touch these two nuts that, that's like 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. And I'm, I'm just using an 8 mil. Okay. And then this thing comes right out. There we go. It's got a lock washer on the back side, so don't lose that. And then this thing should slide right out. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what this nut is for. And I looked at the, looked at the directions. You can kind of see that um, fitting back there. So I'm not sure what that is. I'll have to do more, do more research on that. Okay, uh, and then these are your, your connectors for your, your wires. And these are all labeled here. It might be hard to see on the camera, but these are all labeled um, accordingly to 12 volt ground, lamp, out, things like that. You want to grab a small screwdriver and just go ahead and pry this guy out like this. Okay, and then inside of here is where you're going to see your light bulb. Just got a small needle nose here. And just turn it kind of clockwise just a little bit and it pops right out like this and this is where you want to add your color like green or red right on top of the bulb here so if you got interior lights are all green well you can make this green as well so that all your uh, indicators match color but um, if you guys saw my other videos um, I, I popped these thing I popped this guy out on all my light and I put an LED but looks like I used up all my LEDs already so I bought like a pack of 15 and they're all gone so I got to order more and then um, on the very very back of here it's really hard to see but over here right underneath this part of the uh, the, um, the cover there are toggle switches so these toggle switches is what you is what you want to um, flip these dip switches according to your engine size a four cylinder six cylinder and V8. So again, by default, from factory is set to V8. Okay, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy back in there until my new LED bulb comes in. So let's go ahead and get the wiring done here. It's always easier to do it on the workbench. So this one is gonna be the green, and that's to your signal. On the back of the meter here, it says SIG. So that goes out to your negative post on your coil. If you don't have a coil most ignition boxes or electric ignition boxes have a little port for your tachometer so next one is going to be the red which is your 12 volt black is the next one ground and then your light bulb right here lamp now we're going to take this cap here and there's another rubber grommet in the back we're going to pull this guy out because now we're going to take this wiring and by the way, this green wire is um, much longer than all the other wires because this green wire has to, what the heck is it stuck on? It has to run all the way out to the um, coil. Okay, so just like that, we're gonna put our lock washer on and then our little eight millimeter and put the nut on here. There's a, a smooth bevel on here, so it's not sharp. All right, so it seems like the hardest thing about this thing is really trying to figure out where you want to put this thing. There's just so many options and things to consider. What do you guys think? I think I like this right here because it's I can see right through my steering wheel, no problem. And it's um, not obstructing my wiper or my ignition. If I put it down here, you, you know, I got to go underneath my tachometer to get to my wiper switches. So, I think right there. This connector speedometer cable slides right out. Under my dash, there is a hole where my speedometer comes in. That's where I run my other wires from my other gauges through. And that's where I'm going to run, you know, this green wire through that. Check this out. I found a nice big strip of heat shrink uh, in my drawer so I'm just gonna go ahead and melt this on here
So I'm just going to hook it up temporarily because I have a feeling I'm going to move it. Connect that on the post. And then we'll zip tie that right there. All right guys, so don't kill me in the comments here. Uh, like I said, this is kind of temporary right now. Um, so I got my white and my red wire spliced together with this wire nut uh, on this fuse. And I this is a 20 amp fuse. Let me replace this actually. I'm gonna put in a 10 amp fuse here. I think that'd be a little more appropriate than a 20 amp. And by the way, um, I was at an auto, bot, or auto parts store the other day looking at these uh, glass fuses. Man, these things are kind of expensive. More expensive than your um, the newer fuses, you know, nowadays. Kind of crazy. Again, this is not the ideal, but my goal this winter is to replace the entire wire harness on my F-250. But for right now, just wanted to kind of work so that I can enjoy the truck until winter comes. Okay. Okay, let's see if this thing works here. There we go. Hey, look at that. All right. All right, so I've been kind of filter farting with this thing for about five minutes and I figured out what's the best way to get this thing installed efficiently. And I had a tachometer in here, but it's I was kind of fumbling with this thing. So I took the, the actual gauge out and I'm gonna try and install this without the gauge. I think this might be a little easier because it's not so heavy. All right, so I got it installed. Let me just show you guys uh, what, it, what it looks like here. Okay, let me go to other. I mean, it's not like the cleanest look ever, but it's gonna do for right now. Uh, like I said, you know, was saying, I might mount it over here somewhere, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, well, let me fire this thing up for you guys. So turn the key on so right now it's it's at um there when i turn the key over it should go to zero okay so that's by default according to auto meter so let me turn it on okay let me turn it off oh and by the way you can kind of see the light a little bit let me get my microphone out of here you can kind of see the light it's a little amberish kind of color that's what I didn't want because I just know they're, I mean, it's okay, but look at these LEDs. They're just so much brighter and it's white, right? So you're gonna get a lot better uh, visibility out of a white light. I'm gonna turn it off. So it's gonna shut off right here. Uh, that's normal. And then when you turn it on to on position, it goes to zero. All right, so hope you guys liked the video. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments about you know where could be a better place to locate this. Um, I originally thought I wanted it up on, a, on the dash, but then again, when I'm parked at, you know, at a store or whatever, I didn't want to bring too much attention, you know, by having this big old tachometer on the dashboard there. Um, just kind of keep it down below the window, keep it low key, if you will. What do you guys think? Yeah, she's going a little rough. I still need to play around with the ignition. That's why I'm gonna uh, replace the distributor um, next weekend. But for this weekend, it's a fun, quick little project. So hope you guys like it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.